Okay, let's apply the analogy, right? Who does Congress represent? Or who represents Congress? The mechanic shop, right? And then who represents the several states of Wyoming and Colorado in this case? Well, the car buyer and the car seller. Okay, so let's reread it. The mechanic shop shall have power to set a standard for buying and selling in between the car seller and the car buyer. That make sense? Yeah, they're setting the standard. Let's apply that though. Let's look at this. Okay, let's, um, let's set that up here on top of our slide and then talk about some things. Does this mean the mechanic shop gets to tell the state of Wyoming, you must sell your car and you must sell it for $8,792? Is that what that means? No, that's not what it means. <laughs> you can't do that, right? Or does that mean that the mechanic shop can tell Colorado, you must buy that car and you must buy it for $8,792? That's not true either. It's not true on two counts, right? They can't force the sale to happen and they can't force the price at which the sale will happen. Okay, so you got to understand the mechanic shop's role. The mechanic shop doesn't have anything to do with the sell. Doesn't have anything to do with the decision. They only have to do with the setting the standard to say this car is eight point six out of ten. That's it. Okay, they're setting the rules in between the states. That's all. Right, just like the federal government sets the rules, but they don't control the states. They don't make the states do certain things. They simply set the rules for the states. They set the standard. Okay, now who gets to decide at what price? If who gets to decide if they sell the car and if they buy the car and at what price? Wyoming and Colorado, right? The states do, okay? So Wyoming comes along and says, hey, I'll sell it to you for eight grand, for $8,000. And, and Colorado says, eh, how about we sell it for 7,000? Wyoming says, nope, how about uh, 7,800? And Colorado can say, well, how about uh, 7,400? Wyoming says, okay, fine, sold. $7,400 it is, okay? They write that check out to the state of Wyoming and sign it. Good to go, hand it to Wyoming. And what's Wyoming say? Hey, thanks, but you also owe me the $1,000 Colorado fee. <laughs> Colorado says, Colorado fee, what are you talking about? And Wyoming says, yeah, uh, we in Wyoming figure Colorado should pay us for the privilege of doing business with us. Colorado kind of looks dubiously at it. Come on, you charge me a thousand bucks just because I'm Colorado? And he says, yeah, pretty slick, huh? Nice way to get some money into our state. <laughs> and Colorado says, you gotta be kidding me. You can't do that. Yeah, we can. We're in charge of whatever happens in our state. We can do whatever we want to in Wyoming. Well, the Colorado says, fine. Well, I'm going to buy the, I'm not going to buy the car from you then. What's more, anytime Wyoming comes and tries to buy anything in, in, in Colorado, we're going to charge you $2,000 as a Wyoming fee. How do you like that? So what's going to happen here? Wyoming says, well, I'm not ever going to buy anything from you then. I'm never going to go to Colorado and buy things. What happens to commerce? What happens to the buying and selling in this case? It completely shuts down, right? Because they both are gouging each other and trying to get fees that have nothing to do with the selling and buying of the, of the goods. They're just trying to add a bunch of fees so they can collect money in their states. 